The one thing we've all seen is the uptick in the workforce going remote, whether that's your favorite coffee shop or the quiet or not so quiet spaces of your home. The work landscape has changed and with that, so has the playing field for managing the policies on your endpoints. Tainman Force was able to level the playing field by truly transforming into a unified endpoint policy management system. Created to control the native operating system and application settings, Enforce manages thousands of unique settings within the big three OSs. Now, when we say policy management, off domain, this force, that force, the local cafe, Enforce can manage the endpoint wherever you are and wherever the endpoint sits. And now we've taken that a step further with the support for configuration service providers and also security policy settings. A configuration service provider, CSP, is a Windows client OS built-in interface that allows the application of desired configurations to an endpoint. With this MDM-like policy application method, Enforce can apply the supported CSP settings to an endpoint regardless of where the endpoint sits. Now wait, you've heard that before. So what makes Enforce special here is the CSP application method will allow Enforce to take precedence over domain level group policies applied to the endpoint. Enforce can show you better than I can tell you. Loaded by this icon, you'll see that the policy supports application via CSP. When we hover over the icon, we get a glimpse at what version of Windows the CSP policy was first introduced. In addition, the benefit here is if there's a matching group policy setting on the endpoint, Enforce will take precedence over what's set. So while we're here, let's look at Microsoft Security Guide and disable SMB v1. It's recommended that we disable it. Looks like we can also take care of smart screen and also we'll scan all downloaded files and attachments. The power of Tatum continues to be that any attribute found in the endpoint can be used for targeting. When creating our enforcements, we'll select a group of machines that we want to target and deploy our newly created policy. Cool. We've secured those settings. Let's make our endpoints more secure. Security policy settings allow Enforce to secure your endpoints for malicious threats by mapping to the settings found in group policy. First, let's start with an audit trail. Audit directory service access determines whether the operating system generates audit events when an active directory domain service object is accessed. Photo attempts is something you definitely want to look up on your domain controller. We'll follow this by enabling auditing for incoming NTLM traffic. Notice this policy is applied to the endpoint VACSP and was first introduced to Windows 10 version 18.03. Let's save our policy and enforce the policy to our endpoints. Similar to before, we'll get feedback on the application status. So, now that we've applied policies to the endpoint, there's one more thing. Enforce will attempt a fallback method in the event of a failure to apply. For the supported CSP policies in the machine administrative templates and security settings policy types, if CSP does not apply successfully, Enforce will automatically attempt to apply the settings via local group policy. On the next attempt, it will reattempt to apply via CSP. Now, Enforce will report the status of application attempts when viewing the results. This allows Enforce to watch your back so you don't have to. It's really important to note that Enforce does this by leveraging the power of Tanium. You can flexibly gather information or problems about one of your endpoints or all of them in seconds. No additional infrastructure needed. Policy management shouldn't be difficult. With Tanium Enforce, it isn't. 